Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can bypass protection to find clickjacking vulnerabilities. Before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find subdomains based on the targets pattern, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website which is bepractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bepractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to this awesome website over here. As you can see, we have a lot of content related to cybersecurity and web development, like the art of using Google Docs, like hosting in JavaScript, like hacking with Google Developers Tool and so many things, right? And the interesting thing is that if you head over to the cybersecurity under the lab section, you will see that we are offering labs based on account takeovers, which means that you will learn that how hackers can find those vulnerabilities that will result in hacking someone's account because of this uh, vulnerability in the web application without the victim's interaction, right? And all of these vulnerabilities are based on real world scenario, which means that there's a hacker and attacker that actually found this vulnerability in a website and exploited it or rewarded it through their bug bounty program, right? So definitely go ahead and solve these labs. And with that being said, let's get started. Right. So whenever we are talking about click jacking vulnerability, right? So most of you people think that click jacking is very uh, low rated type of vulnerability, right? And many, uh, many of you will say that this vulnerability not even, you know, accepted by hacker one or any other uh, bug bounty platform, right? So let me tell you guys that uh, this miss uh, this uh, conception is actually very wrong, right? Because uh, when you're finding click jacking, if you're finding click jacking on and non-authenticated endpoint, right? Then it's of no use, right? But if you're finding click jacking vulnerability, let's say on profile setting, let's say on delete uh, account, let's say on change password, right? Then it is actually holding a lot more weight, right? It has more impact. Sometimes you make it paid thousands of dollars because of finding a simple click jacking vulnerability, right? So let's see in this video that how we can bypass some common uh, protection mechanism used to uh, prevent click jacking, right? So a very common one that you'll see is the use of uh, frame ancestor in the content security policy, right? So let me tell you, well, let me explain you what this uh, security mechanism is all about. First of all, let's say this is a normal application, right? And we want to uh, check whether this application is vulnerable to click jacking or not. So the first thing that we should be doing is we should see whether it has this uh, security headers present or not and the security headers for click jacking is x frame option right so let me just show you guys so over here as you can see if there is x frame option in the response header as you can see we didn't have x frame option over here which means that this page is vulnerable to click jacking now again this page is not holding any sensitive information right this is a non-authenticated endpoint so it it's of no use to find click jacking over here right but still this is how you look for click jacking let's say for example if i want to find click jacking on testphp.vulnerable.com i know that it didn't have x frame option present i'm just going to copy this and you can just create a simple html code like i have created over here let me just show you and what i'll do is i'll just paste it over here right and if I'll open it and if the page gets loaded successfully, yeah, it means that we were able to inject, embed the web page into our application, right? So this is what click jacking is all about. This is how you normally create a proof of concept for click jacking, right? Now let us try to understand how the uh, protection we are, mechanism works that we are going to bypass, right? So for example, I have this website over here which I have created, right? So as you can see, this is admin and it is showing Superman, right? Now the thing is that if I try to copy this and if I try to uh, create a POC of click jacking using the same way that I did in testphp.vulnerable.com, we'll see that we'll have a small error or it will not work. As you can see, Firefox can't open this web page to protect your security. Uh, it will not allow Firefox to display this web page, right? Now the thing is that how to bypass this, right? So the very first thing that you should be doing is you should be checking how this application is uh, preventing click jacking, right? You have to uh, look into the response header. As you can see, we didn't have any X frame option over here, right? Instead, what we have is we have something known as content security policy. And inside here, we have frame ancestor, which means that these uh, links or these end, uh, domains are allowed to frame this particular endpoint, 
right now this is something interesting right as you can see it has uh, set to self which means that if the uh, request is on originating from the server itself then it can embed it and we have a third party domain over here testphp.wellweb.com which means that if the request is originating from testphp.wellweb.com then it can embed this particular page right right now it won't embedding this page because it is originating from our server our ip address our local host right this is the reason why it is not allowing us to do so but from here we can identify we can analyze that if the request is originating from testphp.wellweb.com then it will allow it right now the approach over here is to once you have identified an endpoint that have this frame manchester or that have this a particular third party domains the first thing that you should be doing is you should be looking for some vulnerabilities like cross site scripting or html injection on these third party domains right so we know that we have understood from here that this php.wellweb.com is allowed to embed this particular page right so what we can do now is we can open this php in a new tab right just like this let me just copy it and now we should be looking for vulnerabilities in this php.wellweb.com which type of vulnerability either cross site scripting or html injection right so we all know that this particular in, uh, input field is vulnerable to cross site scripting as well as html injection let's try to verify it by typing a simple uh, html tag right let's click on go and as you can see it has rendered the code has been rendered which means that it is executing right now if i try to embed this particular page through this input field by typing iframe src something like this iframe src equals to this and uh, iframe close right this will allow us to load this particular page because now the request is originating from testphp.wellweb.com therefore this page will get embedded over here as we can see it has been successfully embedded which means that we were able to bypass this now here's the second interesting thing the second interesting thing is that we should be able to you know deliver this to the victim right now it is more of a self uh, type of attack right because we won't be able to deliver it to the uh, to the victim like if i just copy this right now and let's say if i open it in my brave browser for example if i paste it over here as you can see we didn't got any page embedded right so to do this we should be looking for reflected or stored xss or html injection right so let's try to find a html injection a reflected html injection right just open it we all know that this parameter is vulnerable to cross site scripting right let's verify this so this field is i think it is reflecting somewhere 12 is reflecting over here right if i just do this let's check it again as you can see the dangerous characters are reflecting as it is and now that we have identified these two things we can simply start uh, creating a payload right so we can do something like this let's try to execute a normal uh, html code As you can see, it has been, it has been executing successfully without any issues. Now let's try to inject the iframe. iframe starts equals to this. Sorry, not this. Uh, this one. And let's close the iframe now. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, we were able to successfully embed the uh, page in this particular application, which we are controlling, right? Since we are controlling this, which means that we were able to bypass click jacking protection, the content security policy protection, right? Let's copy this. And now we were able to escalate it, right? Now, if I give this link to Vectem, you can see over here, like if I open it in the new tab, as you can see, got embedded directly right if i open it in any uh, browser it will be executed let's see as you can see it is getting executed right so this is how you can bypass uh, click jacking protection if there is some kind of protection like this right so if there is content security policy protection 
like this over here so this is how you should be looking for vulnerabilities so i think i am clear if you have any doubts please let me know right so also there could be some cases where uh, there is some wildcard domains over here. let's just start dot 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 com in that case you have a lot more scope right so you can look for more subdomains and you can try for injecting html injection over there right if it works then you're good to go you will be able to bypass it right so this is how you can bypass the csp frame ancestor protection mechanism if you have any doubts if you have any issues to feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses on udemy the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where i've shown that how you can dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that can be used to hack anyone's account on the particular application without the victim's interaction the second course is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you're gonna learn that how hackers create custom payloads that can be used to bypass any antivirus that can execute system commands that can upload and download files and do a lot more stuff like accessing webcams and etc right so go ahead and check out this course if you want to the link is given in the description and with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching